We all know that if you are in a dual boot setup, Windows Boot Manager will always be the first boot option. Unless you have a proper boot manager, just like Refine and Clover. But what if you want to be able to boot to SteamOS first without having to use a graphical user interface just like Refine and Clover? Hey guys, I'm Jenny Ross. Today I'm going to teach you how to make sure that your Steam Deck will always boot to SteamOS and will only boot to Windows as an option. Let's start with the prerequisites. For SteamOS, the first is you should not have any traces of Refine scripts or systemd services related to Refine. The second is make sure that you have set up your sudo password. You can do that on SteamOS by typing passwd on console. For Windows, you should not have any scripts or scheduled tasks related to Refine or ECUEFI. For our first step, just open console and then copy these commands. They will be in the description. Paste here. Press enter. Copy the second set of commands. Paste again. And then press enter. On this part, you will not see your password while you are typing it. Close console. Close this. Open the file manager and then go to home. Scroll down and find the Steam Deck EFI script folder. Copy this folder. On the left side of the file manager, scroll down until you find basic data partition. That's your Windows partition. Click on it and then type your root password. Paste the folder here. And that's it for the SteamOS side. Let's now boot to Windows. After shutting down, hold volume down and then press the power button once. And then press A to boot to Windows. On Windows, open the File Explorer. Open C Drive. Open Steam Deck EFI Windows. Right click on this bat file and then run as admin. Press enter. And then run task scheduler. Scroll down until you find SteamOS task do not delete. Right click on it, go to properties, tick this, check this, and then press OK. Right click on it, and then run. Close this, and then go to C drive again, open this folder, and then open this file. Check if the GUID is the same as the boot sequence. If it is, that means it's working properly. Now let's shut down and see if we're going to boot straight to SteamOS. There we go. And if you want to boot to Windows, just do the volume down plus power combo. If you have any problems, make sure to visit the link in the description. There are troubleshooting tips in that link. That's it for today. If you liked the video, make sure to like and subscribe. Thank you for watching and see you on the next video.